Hello guys, I demonstrate to you how to install the insect cages. Um, I have installed this cage partially. Um, we need to take um, e with, with a different type of cages. So for this cage, say for example, uh, for yes, 1515, you receive four black corners, one, two, three, and four. Uh, I'm sorry, eight black corners, one, two, three, four. Uh, and then four here, four plus four, eight. Um, you will receive 12 spokes. These are the FRP rods. One, two, three, four, and then four, and then four, four, three, so 12. Um, so the eight blacks, black, um, the adopters, and then um, 12 members of FRP spokes. What you have to care is before you do the installation, you please try to do uh, uh, a kind of, you know, the loosening of uh, the, the hole so that, you know, you won't find for installing and then un uninstalling the new cages. Um, need to insert the spoke into the sleeve, side sleeve, and then delicately press into the, uh, the aperture provided in there and then do the side installations singularly. Yeah, sorry. Yes, once you have installed the cage, um, the better way to check whether the cage is installed properly or not by by placing it onto the flat surface and then checking it. It should not actually, um, uh, if the cage is properly installed, uh, when you see from all the sides, you will have the perfect square inside, perfect square, and then the cage should not uh, uh, should not have uneven surfaces. If you actually measure the dis distance between uh, any two, I mean, uh, you don't have to take a scale and measure. If you look uh, the outlook, uh, you should be able to see that um, the black to black, uh, the all side should have similar um, measurements. If you don't feel that, uh, try to see if any measurement is some um, unskewed like this. If any case got installed, you try to see if uh, the spoke has properly got inside. Uh, snugly fit inside into the hole. If not, then you try to press uh, a bit. You don't have to worry um, uh, that you know the FRP rods are very uh, they are very flexible and then resilient. Uh, the rods won't get uh, I mean um, the crack easily. Uh, the advantage of our uh, these cages it gives a perfect volume inside. If you can check this side, perfect volume. You don't you don't see any sagging on the top. Or sides uh, from uh, from either of the side. So what it actually gives is that uh, when I'm speaking about, say, for example, 15 centimeter cube, what you are getting the cage is a perfect 15 centimeter cube. So if the cage, uh, uh, if the cage that is being made, uh, if it is not of the 15 centimeter cube, when you talk about like you know with other cages, what happens is that the sagging of the net from the top and the sides will reduce the volume uh, that is available for the rearing of the insects. That actually uh, requires you to use many number of the cages um, since you are getting, um, I mean, for a, for a rough comparison, uh, what you are getting here is actually what you get with the 30 centimeter cube um, general insect cages uh, that is being used um, uh, since a while. While you are un un unplugging or you know the un dismantling the insect cage, please do not act, uh, do not pull uh, the tightened part. So you have to find out the loose parts. So if you think that you know if this part, uh, this side part is very um, difficult to uh, untie, do not actually uh, do not do the force uh, dismantling of the cage. So try to instead find a very loose side uh, for this cage. Uh, you have all sides are perfectly loose, so you can use any place. Uh, try to go a little bit. Uh, do not strain more than you know more than what I am showing in here. So um, and then pull out. Uh, yeah, if it is not coming um, again, the other side. If you cannot able to pull it, do not uh, force to um, dismantle the cage. Uh, try to do just leave that if this is the difficult place just leave that again 
try to dismantle other things. So you, this way you can dismantle the cage. Thanks for watching.